girl. In there. So we're out with Beauty. Jamie, aka Red Bearded Bowman, myself, and Lou, aka Mindy McConnell. <laughs> Nice. In there. All right. Going for the up the hill. Nice. Quiet bow. You're up, Luke. I'm gonna say that stump's probably 23 yards. Oh. I, I was going it. for the one behind I it. Can see it. <laughs> Get it? Yep, right through it. Beauty. Somebody had to go and retrieve a lost arrow. Not mention any names. It's on purpose. You said you wanted to. Nice job. Well done, girl. In there, on the edge of the precipice. This is a spot you do not want to uh, miss foot. Lou shooting the mighty black hunter. Good work. Nice work. Like you meant to. Almost. <laughs> Beanie's off. He's getting serious now. Little window to thread. No problem. Love it. You're up, sicka girl. She's wearing way more expensive clothes than we got, dude. <laughs> Gonna try it from further. And what? I had to show everybody else. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much have to get low or almost kneel to get that. Yeah, that sapling right through the center, right? Yep. Let's go to the right of it. That's what I did. Got her. Nice. Yeah, so he's got to thread it through all this second and third gross crap. And he gets her. A little low, but I got it. Nice. Okay, Luke. You're up, girl. Holy woo! Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of comparison and review between the two bows. This one is a 56 inch, 50 pound uh, Tolkien Pika. So it uh, <clears throat> is a black micarta riser, which gives it some uh, some dense density and weight. Uh, bamboo core, uh, probably action wood, I think is what the other wood in here is. And then myrtle veneers. And Again. Yep, and so this is the uh, Saratoga Customs Swift, um, which is a hybrid model. You can see it's got uh, quite a reflex here in the design, and uh, it's uh, 47 pounds at 28 inches. And the wood in it, we've got uh, quilted maple limbs into walnut burl, and then again in the riser, we have the walnut and some more maple laminations in here. And uh, of course, reinforced by carded tips. And the string is also made by Max Terzin at uh, Saratoga Custom Bows. So um, I guess I'll start. Um, today was my first day out in the woods shooting it. So I've got a, a few hundred arrows through this thing now. So I'm starting to get a good feeling for it. Um, and how do I feel about it? Well, to be honest, like, I, I love it. Um, it's super quiet. 
uh, and I expected it actually to be a little bit louder with this much reflex into it in it uh, kind of more like a recurve but it's not at all it's uh, really quiet if you see any of the video in here you'll, you'll hear me shooting it and it's uh, it's quite quiet um, I had him reprofile the handle a little bit I, I do have a small hand so I can't speak to the uh, the, the regular handle design but the way he has this one it's actually it's quite small through here and narrow um, and I'm really I'm really liking that uh, it's fast uh, the arrows I'm shooting out of it right now are about 545 grains um, and it flings them out there pretty good so uh, all in all if I was to say you know how happy was I with this bow uh, I'm I'm extremely satisfied and uh, I will definitely uh, be ordering another one from Max at uh, Saratoga Customs and that's pretty much the same with me with the pika. Um, this is, I've probably had 30 bows, 30 trad bows in the past. Uh, all kinds of customs from Black Widow, Ancient Spirit, Checkmate, um, Mahaska. I mean, I've had a lot of them. And this one by far is the best shooting one that I've ever had. It's kind of uh, bonded with me, I guess. A um, few of the differences that we have, like this one's super quiet too, is if you look at the, the handles here, on in. So the Tolki has a thumb grip or thumb rest right here. And this one doesn't. It doesn't mean it's a bad shooting bow. It just means that it can rotate back and forth a little bit. Whereas this one, once you lock your hand in, it really can't. I like this feature on it. Uh, I'm shooting footed shafts. These ones are about 575. These ones here are about 590, I think, somewhere in that range. Um, and yeah, it's by far the best bow I've ever shot. These ones, as you can see, another thing that the Tolkis have, yeah, we were comparing this, are super tiny tips, like really, really tiny tips. And these are actually small. Yeah. These are very small. Yeah, so what and they then... what they do is, uh, the smaller the tip, the less uh, uh, whipping action you have, the less vibration you have at the end of your bow limb, which is really important for a smooth and fast shooting bow. Uh, they both have great northern quivers. This is one I ordered. This is my old 30-year-old one that I gave Jamie for his bow. Because uh, you got to have a good quiver on a bow, right? And, I mean, you, you can kind of see. We'll do a little bit of the tiller here for the draw. Tolkies are known go this way, for having perfect tiller. Like, probably some of the best tiller uh, in the world when it comes to a traditional bow. So, watch here with the bend. So it, the, the, the limbs are very uniform, and this has just a very slight, almost sneaky um, reflex right here, reflex deflex. And you don't really see it, but you can notice it, especially when it's like this or it's hung up. Whereas Jamie's, if you bring it in, you can really see it right here, so it comes out and in and then swoops way in and back out. So go ahead. So you can see the difference when Jamie's got his. There's not as much even bend. His bends more from here to here, like a really sharp bend. So because you watch here. So you can see the difference there again, you know what I'm talking about, like the whole limb. Yep, the whole limb flexes. The whole limb flexes. And that's just basically like limb design and, uh, and bow design. It doesn't mean one's better than the other because they both shoot really well. And you'll see in the video because we've been shooting all day and they're both super quiet. Um, this one has a little more mass weight than that one uh, just because of the black micarta. But they're basically almost identical bows. And if you stand them up on the level ground here, you yeah, see pretty much imperceptible. Oh, mine, mine's got to be down a little bit. Yeah, I think the, the Tolkien has kind of right become there. a benchmark um, for what you know bows are being compared against. Um, and it was the benchmark for, the, for this bow too. And uh, I have to say there's subtle differences. Everything's very very subjective, right? It's like what you like and don't like. Um, and I will say, uh, like I said, it's, to me, uh, it's it's held up extremely well uh, with the Tolki right beside it. Um, I absolutely love it. And, and the world knows Tolki, um, but I also yeah. want the world to know Saratoga Custom Bows. It's uh, a, phen a phenomenal piece. And he's Canadian from Ontario. Canadian, yeah, I wanted that. Is... You'll see, so I, I wanted to, I was gonna buy a Tolki, but then, you know, uh, Carrie already had one, and so I was like, you know, I, I want a, I want a Canadian Boyer, and I want only Canadian Woods in, in this bow, and that's what I got. And uh, like I said, I, I, I couldn't be more pleased. So a big shout out to, uh, to Max. Except that's not Canadian bamboo. 
Canadian bamboo, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, and actually, Mindy has a Tolkien on order. So we will be a two Tolkien family soon, going on three. <laughs> mm -hmm, perfect. Okay. <laughs> oh my beauty. gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> Put the big one. Yeah. Try it down there. Try and get it through. Use a non duo. Nice. There you go. Right, right where my feet are, yeah. You'll see. <laughs> oh, okay. Not much there, is there? No, there isn't. Jamie's shooting his new Saratoga. Same thing. Oh, same thing. Nice. Lots of branches. You're up, Lou. What model is that one? This is the Swift. The Swift. 58 inch, 46 to 28. Yep. Beautiful. 47 to 28. 47. Yeah. Perfect. Look at that. Are you in? I don't know. I think I hit a branch. So there was my first shot. I was trying to get to the top, going through all of this stuff. And uh, that's my first shot. And then I see Jamie's is in there laying sideways. Lou's got the bottom of the stump. I don't know where my other one is. I think it went through it, went through it behind it. Yeah, you're back there. Beauty. You actually hit a log. All right, we're going to reshoot this. She already hit it. We'll see if she can do it twice in a row. That's what you get for shooting like a girl. <laughs> when we're done. Nice. So just to the right? Yeah. Still in. Arrow flew straight this time. Still in though. Okay, Luke. That is a huge hemlock. It's probably what, 24 yards? 25? Way to go. You're, you're out shooting. Okay. Into the tree. Okay, so you're up. <laughs> Those two uh, trees are staggered, so you got like a whole. And there's, if you look through the binoculars, there's a whole ton of little shit in there too. <laughs> Whose idea was this? I don't know, some motherfucker. <laughs> Did you get it oh, in? I did. Nice shot. <laughs> I heard some carrying. Not bad for a bow made in China. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at here though. This is as far as I could get. <laughs> right Elbows here. on the tree. Right here, that's it. I could <laughs> get to there and that I had to stretch my arm out further <laughs> to get it. <laughs> Got it. Good job. Okay, well, I'll shoot from there then, Lou. Too low. Way too low. Just okay, go ahead. You can do her again? All right, Lou's gonna shoot at this dump right here. Nice. Oh. It's going. <laughs> it went. That she missed? I know. I know that she shot the bow. Uh. It was like a shock hit. I think it was like a surprise for her. She's like, oh, I missed. Are you kidding me? I actually missed. I've missed all day. Just a little. This one is going to separate the boy balls from the men balls. 
Just gotta try and drop it over top of the hemlock. There you Ooh. go, good <laughs> shot. And the girl balls. It's the vertical one, Lou. This is what you need for your bow. You need to be able to stretch it out. Yeah, it's the longer shot I've already taken, actually. Sure. Is it the bottom one down there? No, the, the one that's going horizontal up on an angle, it's the bottom of it. The one that's standing up and down. What? Broken one? Yeah. So where it joins the trunk that's still upright? Oh, just. Really? Yeah, it was close. It was underneath it. It's not so pretty, that shot. Oh, left. Left? Yeah. Okay, Lou, you're up. Mm. Well, Close. hit it. Lou's over trying to get the fire to go with wet wood. May go, may not. A little Primus Himalaya berry fuel. White gas in it today. It's loud. Tea break. Is this like a pre-review uh, jitter tea break or what? Yeah. You alright? Alright. Thanks. All right.